y'all welcome back to my channel and this is the first episode of chilling with the johnson hey so first part of chilling with the johnson you gotta get you a cup you gotta sit back relax got some stella rosa you know the vibes a little brown knife switched it up a little martell but yeah, man, get you something to drink, man. And just come kick it with us. That's what we know. We're going to chill. We're going to just relax, talk a little bit. We're going to talk business. We're going to talk personal. We're going to talk relationship. We're going to talk just everything. We're just going to really sit back with y'all and just let y'all, you know, get the insight of how we think and kind of view things. And then we definitely want dialogue from you all just so you we can, you know, keep this going. Because like Queen just said, we're going to have episodes. So this episode one, we want to get to 100. Yes, and we also going to have people on the show, even though it's not the show, we in the house, but this our show and y'all, you know, we, we talking about it with each other. So it's good to have different people on here so we can pick their brains and, you know, debate a little bit, see their point of view of certain topics and stuff like that. So let's cheers to the first episode. Okay. Wait, we ain't looking at each other's eyes. It's a year of bad sex. Uh huh. When you don't toast, you supposed to look somebody in the eye. Wait, well, nobody ever looked me in my eyes. Okay. So tell them tonight's topic, babe. So tonight's topic, we're gonna hit on just doing things for you. Um. Whether it's, you know, because right now, everybody knows we live in a social media world and, you know, you got friends and especially with us being mid-20s, you know, early 30s, young adults, um, you get a lot of, oh, no, I ain't trying to be tied down, no, but I'm finna be single, I'm finna live my life, I'm finna do me, I'm finna have my way, I'm finna live for me. I don't believe in marriage. Oh, when you get married young nowadays, it's not going to last no more than a year or two. Yeah, dudes nowadays, they don't be serious. Y'all don't be trying to commit to nobody. And, you know, some folks ain't, but I feel like everybody will for the right person. Um, I'm, I'm just a believer in that. I mean, you can, dude can try to tell me, T blue in the face. Oh boy, I can't hear you. I can't. I can't deal with the same piece every day. I can't live with the same. I can't be faithful. Like, come on, bro. You can't be faithful. Like, y'all, boy, you had one, you done had 30 years, all the same. Do you want to grow old by yourself? They couldn't do the same. It's going to do the same thing. Put a little extra water on it if you want to. <laughs> but it's pretty Let's much all, all the same pack. But, you know, it's kind of one of the things where you kind of just got to live for you. You can sit around and you can have, you know, immature guy that's around you telling you, oh boy, I don't know about all that. Commit ring? Get a ring? Oh no, get married? Oh no, I ain't trying to do that. But, you know, it's all about what you want out of life. You know? Because some people, I don't want, I didn't want to have, you know, three, four, five baby mamas. I ain't want to be out here getting out of work, working 50 hours a week, then going to have to hit the club, dating. I got a then you know us in Atlanta for a dude. Well, yeah. you got to come when you got to get hookah. You got to get drunk. You got to have a rat. You got to eat. Have you a little scammer them. in your system you gotta down gotta here. Them. Like, the dating scene in Atlanta is horrible. Good thing I am married now because I listen to some people. I see certain things on people's stories and or Twitter. They like going through it and I just can't imagine. Like, it's too much like people they don't they don't believe in monog what is that monogamy <laughs> how you pronounce you it you want to step out here use words you don't know they don't believe okay they don't believe in like dating or being with one person so they rather have two so that's a lot of that going on in Atlanta and then it's like I can say it's about a 30 what mm, I can 40, per, 40 to 60, like, faithful, and then the rest of them, they don't want to do it. And it's just like, I just be feeling so bad for people because some people want to be loved and want to be in a relationship, but people just want to keep up with 
what's going on. They see rappers. They see people on social media do it, so they want to do it, so they don't want to stay faithful to their girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, fellas, I ain't finna drag us out, but yeah, you know how we do, man. We, <clears throat> y'all, we just talking. And then we be talking about three, four, five people. And I mean, hey, I ain't say nothing wrong with it. It's just a little expensive, a little expensive. But, you know, man, sometimes you gotta just live, make your decision for you. Um, And then, man, if you, when you're out here building your career, I can't, I don't know how they focus on building their career. Got three, four, five old ladies in the club. Like, man, you just keep, it kind of throws a wrench into your plans. Because it's kind of, you know, you, you can't really focus on getting successful and getting your bag up when you're out here tricking in the streets every weekend. You can't, you not focus or you didn't stay there out here sending, uh, what's your favorite thing to eat text? What's your favorite you color? Getting the know oh, yeah. All that. What's Get your the... favorite color? Come on, now. go. You gotta send them good What's morning. What's your today, high bro. spot? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta now. Look, look, don't get wrong. Now you gotta send them when you're trying to cook that thing up. You gotta check on. Oh them. You God, you need to you need to figure it out. You need to learn it. Sure don't go ask good. me. And I make sure you know. Did you sleep good? Oh, hey, you gotta cook that thing up the right way. But don't text me when you've been in the bed with another girl the night before, but you're just trying to keep me in the rotation. It's a new day. That, no, no, it's don't do all that. It's a new day. It's a new day. No. <laughs> they be trying to keep. And then some men, after they don't hit it, they, they don't cook it up for weeks. Then once they hit it, they go on to the next because that's all they want. They immature. I wish people would just tell people off the dribble, like, See, yeah, I, I just, always hated that. that no. That, that, that tell me what you want, man. You know how many L's you'll take telling somebody what you want? No, you're not. You would take it. No, it's not. Like, everybody, every, even if even if a female could be on that, she could be offended because, hold on, you just came at me real sideways. I mean, you're not going to say it like that just to be off the dribble. Like, when you first get into know somebody, like, okay, I'm not looking for no relationship. Like, I'm really just trying to have fun. First so, once you say that, the girl off, just off dribble. I mean, we gonna fall, you know, we sensitive, we fall. But in the back of our head, we like, well, he told me he ain't looking for all that. He looking for a good please. time. So, we gonna play it. But you trying to cook it up like I'm your girlfriend. You doing all this husband, boyfriend type stuff. It get our head gone. No. Like, that's, that's sending mixed signals. And that's why people and girls, like, that's why girls, we act crazy. Because they always trying to do that. No. Keep it See, above. No, we y'all act crazy because y'all be, y'all be wanting it to have a title. We just flown. We flown. We riding away. We figured it out. That's We're why you that say in the beginning, I'm not looking for a relationship. Because if you don't say that, of course, we looking for that title. You want me to get on um, cook for you? Oh, baby, I'm short a um, hundred dollars on my rent. Can you cash at me? Oh, we sending that. Oh, you want birthday gifts? You want Valentine's Day gifts? No, if you're not my man, so you're not getting. You're not getting. We just want Birkins too. We want a little Birkin bag. We want a little Birkin. So you think you look baby off a rail? No, yo. please. Uh oh. <laughs> Man, but we're going to just get back to the topic. So, you know, like, with everything, man, don't feel like just because your choice that you're making is going against the grain that it's the wrong choice. You know, just because everybody else is not following the way you're moving don't mean you're moving wrong. You're just moving for you. When you're out here trying to please other everybody else, then you are you could miss your own blessing because you're out here just trying to Blend in and do what the fellas know. No, we ain't on that. No, you need to be on what you want. Because yeah. everybody don't know. Can't nobody love when it's all they're done. Ain't nobody loving on you, rubbing your back when you out here in the streets like that. You, It's temporary, but it, it, it hit different when you got your old lady and you know she got your back. That's what, that's what I know for sure. Because you, when you out here just going through the motions, you need that mental support. That Everybody big on the mental health thing. I definitely feel like when you got you a main lady, she helps with your mental health because, man, it do so they want to. We need somebody to let us know, hey, baby, you're doing good. Baby, you on the right track. You know, those words of affirmation really do 
affect you, you know, make you feel like, because sometimes, and it's just speaking as a man, and sometimes having that support from your old lady make you feel like you do whatever you want to in the world. You know, just for your old lady saying, babe, I think you can, make you feel like, I must care. My old lady said I can do it, so I can do it. It's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of like, you know, having that confirmation from your mom as a child. Once your mom tell you something as a little kid, you know, oh, well, my mama, my mama said, and what you can say <laughs> my mama said, indicate nobody else tell you otherwise. And I feel like as an adult, that's who your significant other kind of walks into. She kind of walks into your safety net, your comfort, your, your place of confirmation. And that's one thing that, you know, I, I want all women to know, man, we need it. Us as men, we need we need that support. We need you to tell us like, "Man, you're doing a good job, boy." Because man, you know, I'm gonna tell you one thing: nobody in this world can tell you what it's like to be an African American man in America, but an African American man, even women, y'all, it's different for y'all because yeah, nobody expect anything from y'all, but they really don't expect nothing from us as men, and that's why you gotta cherish the black man. You gotta cherish. The thing that we do, you gotta cherish us because nobody else does. Nobody else really supports us. Nobody really expects anything from us. Man, right now I'm trying to, you know, go for promotion at my job. And not once has somebody said like, Hey Jared, I think you'll be a good candidate for that position. All thing I do is say, I think I can do it. And they come home and ask Queen and say, Babe, what do you think? And she be like, mm, they go with it. And I mean, I'm so, then I'm just like, all right, well, Queen say go with us. I'm gonna see what, I'm gonna see what I got going on. And I mean, that's all I really got. Cause you know, when we get to work, you know, just, hey, straight Anglos and Europeans look at that, man. They don't, they could care less about my success. You know, the only people that care about my success is me. And you know, having our support system can make you feel like you can conquer the world. And that's, that's, that's the number one thing I feel like when you got that significant other, your wife, your main lady, anything like that, man, they, that, they are support system. That's who got your back. That's who's helping you push you to those high levels. The person that kind of makes you want to be great or do things that nobody thought you could do just to show them and everybody else like, yeah, man, we on something new now. I'm kind of rambling, but you can go ahead and get in there. You, you know, in your you know, bag. I, yeah, you know how I get You in your bag. We, they chilling. We just talking. I probably had some right there the whole time. I lip big, so the lip gloss, whatever. And I want to touch on, like, young people not believing in marriage nowadays. And I could, I can relate to that because before I met Jared, I did not want to get married. Like, what I seen growing up, I definitely did not want to get married because it's just like, I don't believe no man is faithful. Just off what I was saying as a child, it was just a lot. And I'm like, this is not, I don't want to be married. I just do not. So once I got with him, it changed my whole outlook on being like, I'm like, I want to be married to this man. I want to have his face. And this. Cause we pushing P. We pushing P over here. Oh my goodness, they pushing P. Yes, sir. Alex, <laughs> you're not P. You're not P, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like marriage is a beautiful thing. And Jared, he had that with his parents growing up. I didn't have that with mine. So he, you know, he got to experience the love that his mother and his father had. And once I got with him, I'm like, I want that for my children, so what's up? I can't speak for other people, and I get it. They probably felt the same way I did about marriage, like seeing other people marriages, and it's just like, oh, I do not want that. So that scares a lot of people. But I just want people to look at it differently because it's, it's really a blessing, and it's really a good thing to have someone beside you throughout everything. I could be having a bad day. But I know I can come home to my man and he make it all better. Just because of that support system. Jared, stop! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. How you feel, How do you feel about, like, when people be like, oh, marriage ain't this and marriage not that? Bro, I feel like you can feel however you want to feel. I just feel, I personally feel like everybody deserves to give one person that fair shot. It showing them 
what real love is. You can get out here and say, oh man, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, only thing you do is roll the dice with these relationships. Uh, everybody rolling the dice. When I leave and go to work in the morning, all I can do is hope Queen doing right by me. I don't know what she do with you when she, you know, going. I'm, I go to work for nine hours a day. You know, only thing you do is just hope for the right person to do right by you. And that's all, that's all this relationship thing is. And people be out here trying to act like folks can't be, you can be faithful to somebody. You can be faithful to one person, man. It's a want. This is it's definitely, definitely a, want. a want. Like, it's definitely a want. And then, and I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a book. I'm gonna keep it a book. Like you can tell, like if you feel this way too. Like when you have like single friends and they tell you they stuff. Of course, you might think like, okay, but at the end of the day, I know what I got. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, it, sometimes when you yeah. talk to your friend, they be like, damn, man. I don't need this. Damn, nah, damn. Damn. You be like, man. damn. Another day, I'm probably going crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't went too far. Okay, okay, okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just like, you know, and sometimes when you're in a relationship, things can become routine or just comfortable. So you forget to take your person out on dates, tell your person that you, you look beautiful, you look handsome. And that's what, you know, that's, that, you know, that comes. Mm -hmm. Versus when you dating somebody, you're going to get that good morning text. You're going to get what's up, beautiful, or you fine. But at the end of the day, that it don't last for long. It don't last for long. Even when you're in a relationship with somebody, it don't last for long. They're going to hype your head up, and then after they get used to you, it's just like... And you know you can't get comfortable because, boy... Right now, boy, we, boy, me and Queen, we got that happy weight, boy. We got God. it. Woo. Right now, I'm in there trying to lock back in, get back in the gym, and get myself back together just to, to start feeling like me again, you know? Because you get to feel like, damn, I mean, I ain't got no problem being the big niggas in the room because we, we putting on now. Don't get it twisted. But. Y'all is. I'm not. I got my biggie small. I'm not trying to be the biggest nigga in the room. I'm not trying to be that. What's your shoes, Lincoln? Yeah, I'm not trying to be that, man. And really, you know, I'm trying to really just take a take a hold of my health. Take a hold of my health. You know, we ready, getting ready to have kids and stuff. Man, I got to go play ball with my kids. My dad, just me and my dad, we used to hoop with each other. Like, real deal. One on, to me and my brother and my dad, we playing 21 for real. My dad ain't playing us like. We his sons. He playing us for real. Like, and man, that's the stuff I, I love about growing up. My dad used to go in the backyard, throw the football with us. All that stuff, man. I, that's the stuff I gotta have for my kids. I gotta be able to show them that because things like that help mold me into the man I am today. Just, you know, being having that that leadership put in front of you to show you that, yeah, you know, hey, all that laziness, that's for the birds. You can't be lazy. You gotta come out here and get yours. And, you know, that's kind of one of the things with that I feel like what Queen wasn't able to see from just having a separate household where your parents aren't in. I get to go out here and get yelled at by my dad to come in the house to get my back rubbed by my mom yeah. and tell me how good I and tell me that I did a good job. And, you know, it's things like that that people in a single parent household you don't get because it's no, you know, it's once your parents on, whatever, if you got a mama or daddy and they say that, and go to your room. That's how I did. You go figure it out mentally on your own. But man, having that with your, with your and my daddy, he was never the oh on my side. He was like, it's okay, baby. Do what your mama say. She do this and that. I'm like, daddy, be on my side for once. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, but definitely, man. Always, I I can't say it enough, man. Make your decisions for you. Make your decision for you, man. I never get, man. When me and Queen first got this dude told him, he said, Man, Queen, and you and Queen, the sheen on your lip. You know, like, all right, man. Who said that? What, like, who said it don't even matter? No, like, level as in what? I don't know. I, get, I don't even know what it was just like. I guess we was kind of like we was on two different spectrums. On two oh, because I was things. turned up or something? Yeah, and I guess you in the club and I'm kind of on my own thing over here. And it was kind of one of those things where I'm like, you know. I could listen to you, but I could also not give a damn what you say, because at the end of the day, nigga, 
She kissing me in the mouth, man. These my cheeks. What up, what up, Kodak say? This my little shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't seen that? No. You know that video, he like, they like, how you gonna say she for the street? You don't know her, bro. You don't know her. This, this mine. You feeling it? No. Okay, all right. You know what the little code is. All right, all right. I ain't fuck you. But then, it, like, back to that. Like, whoever told him that because I was a party girl or whatever. People change for who... Like, people change for the person that they want to be with or if they love that person. Yep. Because I was turned up, like... Woo, in college, me, like, at every party, I'm on stage. They call him, as soon as I walk in the building. Queen Land, <laughs> Queen Land to the stage, <laughs> Queen Land. She love that, y'all, God. She love, you love it, she love I don't attention. never. She love attention, I, bro. I, I do, but I don't. Please. No, it, at Fort Valley, like, at the party stuff, okay, I love attention, but, like, on the daily, she I thought she would make twerk song. I was. They called me on stage to get it turned up. And I was one of those. I'm Sit drunk. Your down. I was <laughs> I'm drunk every day. Like, I'm just lit. But once I got with Jared, he wasn't going for none of that. What that baby knows. And I'm like, do. dang. I can't. And then I used to dress provocative too. And it was just like, God, please. You want to change me? You can't. Um, and that's all I was stressed. I said, you can't change me. You met me like this. So you need to love me for that. And But he was just like, mm. So, but that's when compromise is coming. It's a difference between controlling and compromising. So I'm like, okay. I still turn up. But I used to record myself too. Like, if I'm twerking, I had somebody record me all up. I still turn up, but I just won't have nobody to record. And then, like, with my dressing and stuff like that, and I'll kind of cover up because it was a little bit. And him and Boosted talking about, you dress exotic. You dress exotic. I'm like, what is that? But that's what the compromiser come in. I was like, okay. I see potential. After he got his head on straight, I'm like, okay, I can give you that. I can give you that. And... I did. Yeah, you know what I mean? But it's it's compromise on both ends because, you know, the whole time when we was doing that, I was like, you know, you're right. I can't change you as a person. But I had to let her know that I'm cherishing you as a person. I'm not going to let you just be out here, you know, doing whatever. Because if we're going to be together, you represent me. And, and he's come, a Leo. And we coming with it. We coming, we coming, we stepping every time we, we get out of the car, we them. Man, you know, and it was just a, it was kind of my understanding. It was kind of, and it kind of helped me, you know, grow with Queen because it's just like, okay, I can see that we can work together. She, she own what I'm on. We we just, we ain't on two different sides of the spectrum. We trying to build for the same thing. And it helped me understand like, okay, yeah, we on, we on something good, man. I, if she can hear me. Cause it's one, cause I always be straight like, I understand what you're saying. I get you on having fun. I get you might not be there some folks, but I'm not really feeling it. And you know, and regardless of how much you try to make me say this is 2020, you know, you old school acting. I just be old school acting, but you know, you you gonna be my you my queen. So I'm gonna treat you as such, and everybody else better treat you as such, and they better get what, what's going on. Okay. And so you know, it was. It was it was a battle. She tried to push back, push back. She was fighting with me every day, buddy. Cause he used to complain every day. I'm like, God, leave. Hey. Like, geez. Fellas, but look, I never but see, I never let you know that I was okay with something that I wasn't okay with. I said it from the jump. And every time you did it, I'm complaining about it. And if you wanna be with he, me, he controlling. I'm not he controlling. Gotta look, if y'all have a Leo. If you are a Leo, you have a Leo man, you know that controlling. I'm not controlling. You are to a certain extent. No. To a certain extent. Bro, and that you should bro, do. You know, girl, yes, you girl, I'm going to be having my ass swinging in the air. We not going for that. That ain't controlling. But one thing I do like about a Leo, well, one thing I like and what I don't like about a Leo is because they put you on this high pedestal. Like, it's no, like, you cannot mess up. 
If you do, they'll treat you like dog meat. <laughs> That's what they a Leo gonna do. They gonna put their significant other or whoever they talk to on that pedestal. Mm -hmm. Best believe and that. We, and we did serious about it. Like, ooh. And that thing there. Hey. And ooh, I'm like, jeez. That's what I wanna eat. I said, she recorded me. I ain't even record myself. Why you got why she all got the camera all y'all running? I'm like, Jerry. They used to, like, my friends, you know, now they cool. They used to think Jared was so mean. Like, we used to have parties at our house, and that's when he came and stayed with me. And we used to have parties, and I'd be in there, and he he come, walk around the corner, and they like, Jared here. Everybody move, just go down. And he's like, why y'all? And it's just like, cuz, people be scared to do anything around you because you're so crazy. I ain't crazy. I ain't never showed out on you for nobody. never showed out. I ain't never yelled at you in front of nobody. Nothing like that. I just be me. And then again, like, I turned up so bad when people, like, this girl lied on me talking about I did something. And I'm like, I wasn't even doing nothing. And he believed her over me. Because y'all Gemini be lying. Every Gemini I know, my brother Gemini, he always, when we were growing up, that nigga Devin, gonna tell a lie. And then, when she, you're such a Zodiac freak, you made me understand it. And so, when you start lying like that, I say, damn, that's that Gemini shit. Y'all be lying. No, and so when you I lie, be lying about and, stupid stuff. See, no, but when you lie but about stupid stuff. But that was big. No, it be like, she be like, stuff. you put the clothes in the dryer. I'm like, mm -hmm, I ain't put, it be like little stuff like that. But that was big. This girl gonna tell him I was uh, dancing on the boy. First off, I'm not gonna do that. See, if I was single, yeah, I'd do it. But in a relationship with him, and then I'm in a room with his friends, who would, who would do that? Who would do that? I'm in a room with his friends. Granted, my cousins then was there, but he had like two, three friends that was there. Why would I do that? Mm. Why would I do that? You and he I was just. Sweet out here. No, I didn't. And he I believed her. And I'm like, I was going to break up with him. Because I'm like, how you going to believe this trick over me? Like. Oh, God, so you can't be out here telling white lies. All them little white lies, they add up. And then when it's time to believe you, it's hard to believe you because you lie so much. You That's all that was. I don't lie. I be 100. He didn't tell you to call me tricking. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. He ain't never <laughs> lie. He ain't never yeah. lie. I was like, Jared, did you do this? Yeah. yeah, 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 dude. You caught me red handed. Now, what we doing, baby? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fool. You thought I go Ruben stuttered on him. <laughs> a little you bit. You ugly. I do what I gotta do. Hey, when they man, you gotta do what they got to do. This is the first episode, so we know it's we didn't want to keep it too, too long, you know, just to introduce what we doing. So y'all can get a feel of what we'll do. We might do this like once a week or every two weeks, but I'm trying to do it every week, once a week. And from here on out, man, hey, y'all keep blowing it up. Like, comment, subscribe. We and still on the way to 10K, man. Yeah. We on the way to 10K, and we got to get there. And we need y'all help. Y'all right, is who going to get us there. Y'all got to tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend what we got going on, because we fire. We the hardest chocolate couple on the map. <laughs> on YouTube, ain't a dark skin couple coming harder than look at all this black look. Look at this. Look at this. Come on now. Come on now. Look at this blackness right here. Y'all need some of that. We need we need to be on the big screen. Oh, That's why we gotta put us on the big screen. And y'all drop below some topics that y'all want us to discuss about. And you know, we're gonna we gonna give it for y'all. We're gonna give it to you. You know the vibes. What I always say, babe. Tell you. Sister, brother, cousin, auntie, uh, uncle them. Uh, auntie them, co-worker, uh, folk at McDonald's in the window, Whoever everybody. to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. channel. But on. until next time, we're going to see y'all later. I'll let you.